1986 James Cameron cast and crew of Aliens left a lasting impression on countless people. Practical effects that were unbelievable and characters that to this day, words still resonate. Game over, man. Game over. Love Bill Paxton. God rest your soul. You are missed, sir. And of course, who could forget Vasquez? You always were an asshole, Gorman. And last, but certainly not least, Miss Sigourney Weaver, as she gets ready to do battle with the alien queen herself. Get away from her, you So with all that being said, I've been waiting over 18 months to say, it's some crazy month in 2018, and it is time for our studio scale power loader unboxing and review by Hollywood Collectibles Group. I was given an option to have it shipped with or without these extra shippers and to me it seemed like the right thing to do there's nothing I can't stand more than damage caused during shipping of a collectible so to see this level of intensity and care to protect something of this size is exceptionally impressive. I thank you for that, because this is really cool. This was created, the original one by Richard Johnson, in the movie, and this is a studio scale replica. Hollywood Collectibles Group released this January 2015. I was lucky enough to acquire this from a collector who was thinning his collection. Uh, September 2016, he posted it on the Alien Predator Terminator Collectors Group. Thank you very much, Jason. I, I appreciate this. So I've had it here for a year and a half without opening it. Some people call me crazy, but this, it looks like there's a handle in here. Also, there's a piece of foam. Okay, so there's something here. I just always say exercise caution. I think that this is the blueprint. Wow. So this is very nice. The exclusive versions that Hollywood Collectibles Group puts out are fantastic because they all have some kind of a blueprint like that, which I think is great. Oh, this is neat. I had no idea this came with got some hatches as well must apply to land form before entering battlefield the blueprint here is is really neat it's a nice heavy stock on it I, I like this this would be something I would frame here we go I'm not gonna say anything right now i'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to come or not like that that's interesting so this has got to be like the support this base is freaking huge the turntable seems to function i guess my concern is this almost looks like it was glued in i'm not going to rush to judgment all i can say is wow because this base is freaking huge. Great weight. Looks like he put some felt on the feet. Comment below. Let me know if yours came with this in or not. Um, I'm, I'm leaning towards no, but it also looks like it's been glued. Felt on the feet is a good idea. It certainly helps with movement, even on a glass desk. When I was doing the review on the P1 maquette, just even moving it around over here, it did loosen and pull off one of the feet. Something of this size, though, I typically recommend you find a home for it and you keep movement to a minimal. This is where I get all kinds of nervous. Okay. I'm 
super excited, but I'm very pensive. It comes weather and stuff. I'm not worried about that. I, I'm wor worried about the small hoses and everything. I heard that they can be kind of frail and I'm wondering where's a lift point. <laughs> so that would be one thing I would suggest to manufacturers. Make some notes where lift points are. It's heavy. So the weight is phenomenal. Oh, this is crazy cool, man. This really is. I'm trying to absorb it all in here. <laughs> but wow. I mean, this is cool. This thing is heavy. Now it's neat because that's a real fabric. This thing is badass, though. I gotta tell you, it is. It's definitely not as frail as I thought it was. Just for now, I'm going to not attach it on the spike. I mean, it's heavy enough that it's not gonna go anywhere. So far, very impressed. It's just massive. Three of three. Oh, wow. This is the toy store. This is the one that has all the goodies. All the hydraulic hoses are here. And of course, we've got arms. Okay, I wasn't sure if this was gonna have a turning light or not. Now that I've figured out how to untangle the mess, this must have been fun packaging it in the first place, let alone repackaging it. It was a fantastic time in Knoxville, Tennessee, getting to meet everybody. It was really, really cool. Best guys. I got some stills the best I could with this. This thing is just huge. It barely fits in the close-up tent that I have. Some of the stuff we have obviously just doesn't fit in there. I've had a lot of time to take a look at it. The body of the power loader, just the detail on this is crazy. All the, the nuances, the weathering is phenomenal. And this whole thing comes out of the box in one shot. So you have to be careful how it does it. There's no quick disconnect, nothing of that nature. So basically when you go to put it on, it's kind of all together. So this is the left arm. Something like this. So, and this one's just a pain. In So theoretically, this is it. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it is magnificent. It is a great, great piece. There's some quirks about it that bother me a little bit, but it's almost as if the rear hoses, the plates back here are not positioned correctly. Something's, cause they're not sitting flush. Now they're magnetic, so they're holding Final thoughts for me on Hollywood Collectibles Group Power Loader. Amazing. The attention to detail is just staggering. It's, I'm, I'm just lost in this whole presentation. The turntable idea is wonderful. It, it really helps showcase the piece so you can look at it from all angles because this is something you're gonna when you see it you want to see it from all angles and you don't want somebody touching this or trying to move it around all the time and to be able to do a 360 on it is just phenomenal i love it and you can get you know all the angles that you want and to incorporate that into the base was a brilliant brilliant idea There are still some available at Hollywood Collectibles Group, their website. There are some exclusives available still that come with the schematic. The few minor critiques I have were just with the hose layout in the back. It doesn't seem to quite sit as I thought it should. And again, that may be just my error in putting it together correctly. 
Wished I had opened it sooner. Really need a queen in the proper scale to, to go with this. That's what I'm missing now. So on that note, we want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your friends. And as Kendra always says, until next time, stay weird. <laughs>